Hello there, folks. Welcome to another Derail Valley video. Today we got something new. They released uh, just today, actually, Friday the 18th of August, a new build, a new patch, and some new stuff for Derail Valley. The, uh, the main course, or the entree, if you will, is, of course, this thing right here, the Slug, which is now a part of the game, which is pretty cool. Uh, tells you all about it, tells you how to get it. Uh, they did a, a few extra things as well as far as texture streaming. So what this does is instead of, you know, banking all of these textures in the game and your hardware, so on and so forth, uh, effectively bogging your system down, it streams as needed. Uh, I'm kind of on the fence about that one because I know some games I'm not very fond of texture streaming at all. So, of course, we'll get to take a look at that here and see if that changes much, uh, if anything at all. Uh, they've added ray tracing as well, uh, some various other quality of life and bug fixes, and a whole uh, smorgasbord of uh, just other patches. Some some steam engine operation improvements, overall train simulation. They they note all the graphics bits uh, and various miscellaneous. I will link this down below if you want to go and check this out for yourself, which I recommend you do just to look it over to see what all's what. But we're going to focus on this thing for now, the slug. We're going to try and go figure out how to get it and then uh, use it. Alrighty, so dawn is breaking here at the port on the southernmost area of the map. Well, southeastern. Uh, yeah, southeastern part of the map. Big, big lake or sea or whatever the hell that is uh that's where you're going to want to go to get this thing now it tells you how to get it we're going to try and follow along and go and grab it here uh what you need to do is purchase a key to said thing so it's kind of like the caboose uh etc with a couple of things they've done over the years and procuring said things not only that so you get the key and then you go and unlock it in whatever garage it's in i don't even remember where the dang shop's at here i'm gonna have to look for the shop here in a minute guys uh but anyway you get the key you go and find it unlock it in the garage and then it is yours to use so there's only one on the map in your career mode now they've noted if you play via sandbox it uh, is available to use at your will and whim in the sandbox, as with uh, a lot of other stuff. Where's this dang shop at? So, career, there's only one. You got to buy the key for it. Uh, sandbox, you can use it whenever the heck you want. Let's get up on the roof here. I, I can't ever remember where these dang shops are. The only thing I know is you can look for the green light. Uh, or wait, no, that's the that's the office. Son of a biscuit. So where's where's the shop at? Two hours later, SpongeBob. Uh, where's where's the shop here? <laughs> uh, let's go down here. Oh wait, there it is. Okay, little little blue thing. So it's over here by the yard closest to the uh the mountainside there all right so you go in the shop you're gonna need to buy the key for it let's see if it's in here <gasps> look at there steve's garage key okay i have no clue where the heck that's at we're gonna go ahead and click it with our scanner we're gonna insert the wallet to pay there we go Complete our transaction. We have got our receipt. Cool beans. Let's leave that there. And we got our keys. Our little uh, toy key. Steve's garage key. Alright, so I will save you the endless searching uh, for where the heck this garage is. And we will be back in just a moment. Aha, we have found it. So it was where... I'm honestly going to say it's not where I looked first. It's where I looked third. Because I knew the other garages, you know, were going to stay the same garage. But this is the end of the track. Let's open the map here. If you look at the southeast end of the map there, this is the bit of track that kind of existed here for a while, but just dead-ended, didn't go anywhere. Uh, so it's actually right here next to the harbor. So you don't have very far to go. So let's go ahead and whip this bad boy out. We got our key. Let's go unlock it. 
Cha-ching. The gates hath opened. There be our lock. That's a nice looking padlock, by the way. I don't want to just leave it. And this is it, guys. This is a slug. I'm sure a lot of you guys know uh, what this is. But for those that may not, we'll go over that. Um, so this is the DE6 slug. This was due to come out with the simulator update as it were um but because reasons it did not uh they just weren't ready to release it that and the little steam locomotive shunter that we just got uh but they are here now um not too far off from one another release wise which is nice trickling in a little content which is good keeping things fresh you open that door i guess not but uh this is basically the de6 so the six axle uh, kind of diesel electric locomotive that you already have in the game, which has got a cab, uh, obviously for the operator, for the engineer and the train crew. Uh, and of course it's got a prime mover. This has neither of those. Uh, other than that, it is by and large, uh, the same. So this is the DE six slug. Once you get it and, uh, once, once you got the key, once you come here to the garage, open it, basically claim it, it's yours to use anywhere, uh, whenever you want, however you want, uh, practically, from what I understand. Uh, you can make it, uh, you know, teleport to you if, if needed. I think it's about 5,000 credits if you do that. Um, but there's only going to be one if you're in the uh, career mode, if you're using career mode. Like I said uh, a moment ago, if you're in the uh, sandbox, uh, you can use it without having to purchase it, uh, so on and so forth. <clears throat> Pardon me. So the, uh, the key can be purchased at the harbor shop. You come up here and open it, uh, and then it's yours. So basically a slug is just a type of locomotive without a prime mover. So the engine, the way a diesel electric locomotive works is the diesel engine or the prime mover powers the, uh, the electric um, motors on the wheels, the uh, traction motors as they're known. And that's what actually puts the power down. So these, a slug in general, uh, basically only has traction motors uh, in most cases. There are some differences, obviously, between railroads, different parts of the world, etc., etc. But it does not have the cab or operator controls, and uh, it does not have a prime mover. Um, it's generally best used at low speed for pulling power, like here in the States, for example. It's, they're generally found in yards uh, paired to uh, like a mother unit just for extra pulling power and stopping power which is uh equally important obviously uh they also add ballast uh to these as well um you know for replacement weight because since there's no motor or engine in it a diesel engine uh you know it's lacking that weight so they'll add ballast as kind of a weight um to weigh it down so uh that is what a slug is let's go ahead and uh try a little job with this sucker all righty guys here she is the sluggy slug the old slimy sluggy sluggy slug de6 slug so of course to get it here for those that uh, may not be aware go ahead and pop out your comms radio and if you scroll through with your middle mouse scroller deal same with the switches and all that uh you go to work train request work train and uh confirm it click it you're done there it is let's go ahead and switch that back to my switches and we got a job sitting down there we're gonna pull those auto racks over to the uh, food factory I think and yeah let's let's I had to make sure we we're facing the right way so let's get to work I'm gonna go ahead and set our uh, switches here to get us lined up with our job down there. A couple auto racks, I think it's about 600 tons roughly. Um, anywho, let's go ahead and get this thing and hook her up. Get down in it. Reverse is forward, brakes released. A little bit of juice. I 
did not check if the handbrake was on that thing. I'm assuming there would be. And we're also going to let it lead just for funsies. We're not going to be able to see squat. Should be a knee slap in time. Independent brake. Brake, brake. Man. <laughs> Uh, went a little too hardcore with it. I believe the brake is not on, so let's, uh, yeah, that's not, that's not very good. Okay, so it spawned without the handbrake. That's interesting. All right, let's try that again, shall we? A little bit of juice. Now, of course, you cannot hook up your radio control. Uh, for those that are wondering to this, but you could use another radio controlled locomotive, I would assume, to be able to do said thing. So we might just have to try that here. Go ahead and hook that air up. There we go, and MU. And we are gravy. Open up the airline. There it is. And there she is. Look at that. That's cool as hell, man. We got us a slug. See if the lights uh, turn on here. I would imagine they would. There's our front. Hell yeah, they do. That's pretty darn cool. That is pretty darn cool. All right, let's go ahead and back on up and grab our um stuff our train words are hard there we go i knew i was forgetting something handbrake back off let's get back in this betty look behind us brakes all throttle up So traditionally with slugs like this, uh, they were not meant for high speed. Um, it was all about, you know, down low, pulling grunt and pushing grunt and breaking grunt uh, around a yard. Now, yes, uh, some railroads uh, in the U.S. and around the world did have some slug units that they would use on some, you know, some work trains or a local or, you know, something to that effect. Um, most definitely, but I don't know how this one's going to work. We're going to see, because we're going to get up to some speed here. So we'll see how the traction motors act, and if they actually start to uh, overheat and all that good stuff. That'll be interesting to find out. Get up here on our uh, assortment of uh, what look like maybe some, some Yugos. They kind of look like some tiny sobs. Not sure what cars those are supposed to be, actually. A little bit of independent brake. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. And there it is, guys. Let's go ahead and get this thing popped on. Tighten her up. Grab the air hose. Don't need the MU. We'll go ahead and pop them lines open. And let's see. So it looks like the handbrake on the very back is going to be tied on. And there it is. Good deal. Look at this. Of course, you traditionally wouldn't, uh, most likely wouldn't have the damn thing in front of you. Because uh, you can't really see much at all. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and get on the road here, shall we? Right, so we are heading to the food factory. I believe. Food factory and town. Yeah, that's FF, isn't it? Yeah, this is machine factory. IMW is 
chest. I always forget. Can't see squat, so let's get up here. And, uh, oh dear, we don't want to do that. Let's see if you can still, so typically if you stand on the porches of the locomotive, you can still control stuff. Let's see if that happens with the slug. That's a negative, Ghost Rider. It does not. So you cannot use your keyboard to control things up here. Looks like the only switch we got to worry about is, uh, man, actually none of them. So, all right, we'll, uh, we'll get down the road, uh, in a minute here and, uh, get back on it. All right, so we are on the road. You can see our sluggy boy up here jumping around on the tracks in front of us. That's, that's pretty cool. So we've got six extra traction motors, right? If I'm not mistaken, this should still be... Yeah, yeah, still, still six axled, of course. My impeccable camera work here, sorry. Man, that's funky looking. I like it. I like the weird stuff. Something else I figured out as well, which uh, some of you may be, uh, you know, wondering or heard about or read about the texture streaming bit. Um, you know, some games, I'm not super fond of it. It, it it does kind of weird things and it may not always look the best they may not always render uh far out uh but something you can do which i was wondering and hoping which is really cool is you can change that so if you've got a ton of vram i've got uh 12 gb vram and 32 gigs of system ram if you actually go into uh your settings go down to advanced there is a texture streaming uh tick box and that's on by default now i've turned it off and also notice this down here which i don't think i've ever noticed before texture streaming budget uh 70 i don't know if i can i don't know if i can turn that up anymore oh that's weird maybe you can only do it before you start the game. I think I'm going to uh, save it in a minute and go to the menu, come back in and see if that works. Anyway, let's get this train going here. Doing 50 kilometers per hour. Might want to slow it down a little bit. Let's use these uh, dynamics. Can't see squat up ahead, obviously, with this thing in front of us. I think we're around on the map here. Don't think we got to worry about any of these turnouts. But I've got an idea. If I could find one of the units uh, at this next, you know, town, I'm going to see if I can remote connect all of these and have much, much, much more traction motors. All right, so we got a 50 kmh and we got a downgrade section. It looks like the dynamics are holding us pretty good. Got our auto racks in tow. Very expensive cargo. Let's see, what is this next place? I can't remember what this next place is called. Looks like level ground now, 50 kmh. Slowing down pretty good. I like the whining of the dynamics. They got some really good sounds with this uh, with this game, especially this update. We're coming up to a 40. Let's start peeling the dynamics back here a little. The people know we're coming out to tunnel in a second. Check our map. IMW. What the hell is IMW? Intermodal warehouse. No, something tells me that's not right. All right, we'll go ahead and turn that off. We are at a cool 20 kmh, which is kind of slow, actually. Let's go ahead and notch up here. We got to turn my lights on. There we go. Oh shoot, we do have a split up here. Okay, hold on. Back off, back off. We might need to go take a look here, see if I can find another locomotive. 
and uh, we'll get some really funky power going on if that is the case. You're in this spooky tunnel. got over here oh the big steam engine no way dude is that is that it Irma Gersh is that the only thing over here no no I believe it is I believe it is folks Jeez Louise Okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine. We'll just keep on rolling, 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 rolling. Like the Limp Biscuit said. All right. Oh, shh. Nikes. I didn't even look at that switch. It's got us on the right there. That's good. All right. So most of these should send you, you know, straight on through, so... Peel them air brakes off. See how this old sucker does with the amperes. It's not using much at all, man. This is, uh, it's not a very heavy train, but nonetheless. Let's, um... I was gonna say, where's the office? Because if these things are going anywhere nearby... I want to see what these two suckers can do. I mean, you know two DE6s can can get down and dirty, right? So, uh, I want to see what this thing's... Where's the friggin' office around here, man? That's not it. Hell, it's way down there with the green light. All right, full brakes. See you later, train. Be right back. Don't go anywhere. Let's see what we got here. Where's the jabs? Where's the jabs? Steel meal. Iron ore. Harbor town. We ain't going way down there. I just came from there. Uh, sawmill. That's a negative. Uh, I don't know what it is about the office, but for whatever reason, when you get in the office in some areas, the frame rate just absolutely tanks. I've got a theory that it's got something to do with the machines. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have experience this i'm kind of curious uh, i'm wondering if the devs know about it uh but it's every office i go in i i experience this now and it's kind of uh it's kind of odd it's like the worst performance i generally get is uh getting in these offices offices harbor in town no all right so that's 300 tons and that's going to the steel mill you know what the, you know what what the hell let's get it let's get it give me the job Let's do it to it. All right, where are these at? B60. B60. We're going to grab it all. We're going to grab it all. B60. That's our doggy right there. All right. Good deal. All right, let's keep on going. Now, I know where we're going. There are some grades. And uh, they're not too terrible. But uh, the last half of the run ought to be cake. Absolute cake. Middle of the map, that's... You know, I kind of wish there was more stuff like the middle of the map where it's just wide open. You know, gorgeous kind of like pastures, fields, wheat, golden wheat, and uh, the river, the bridges. 
Just wide open, big wide open space. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and throttle back and take a look at our stuff. So that's the track we're gonna need to be on right here. And that is our switch. Looks like it's already lined right there. And this is the switch we need to get past. Hither. Alright, so how many cars we got at current? At present? I think 10? Yes, sir. 10 indeed. Alright. Oh, looks like I'm drunk walking around on this thing. There we go. Quite a few to go. This would be super helpful, of course, with the, um, you know, having the, uh, the remote. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope and pray that, uh, we've got something I can use remote-wise when we get to Food Factory. Give her some nizaches. All right, power down. I think we can safely go ahead and throw some air. Now let's run through the scary exhaust fume laden tunnel. Look at there, just enough. Good deal. All right, let's go ahead and click that one over. It's Gablamies. All right, I, I did. Uh... Okay, I was gonna say. I'm gonna make sure I got that uh. Ticked in the little computer back there, verified, if you will. All right, back on the locomotive. Reverse. Breaks off. A couple of notches. All right, this might be a little tough. I might need to just let it ride, you know, just kind of let it stroll on down there get like a real low speed going whoa I'm seeing like a weird texture issue down there on those rocks oh shit guys I think we just hit those cars <laughs> oh dear do we just we just smacked them oh oh no 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 Tell me there's a handbrake on you. Oh, we're getting killed by a rail car right now. We were killed. Yeah, handbrake's on. Oh, we smacked the bejesus out of them things, man. I thought we had a ways to go. That's a big sad. Alright, let's get on the roof like a goof. This will be able to kind of see a bit. So them things are probably still rolling. Yeah, look at that weird, uh, like, texture reflective doohickey on that rock down there over the tunnel. That is weird looking. Never seen that before. All right, let's run down there and try to hook them up here. Got them. All right. Give me that air hose. Air. Air. Got the handbrake down here. It should be. This was already on, was it not? I think it was. This should be the only one. So we got a pretty girthy girthy train now. Uh oh, lights coming on. So now we got we got some weight here, folks. Back forwards. 
Air brakes off. Yeah, it's going to take a minute on these brakes. Soda open. One notch. Shoot, am I... I'm thinking maybe I left an angle cock open or something. Man, that looks super weird at the back. Little glittery things. Looks like little glowworms you see in like a cave. Alright, let's get at it, guys. There's two notches. Yeah, and much more heavy now. Now we're talking. Putting down about uh, 225 amps. Amps. Give her another. It's pretty smooth. She takes it in pretty smooth with that slug. Give it another. One more for good measure. All right, we are on the road. So we're going to Food Factory and the Steel Meal. Definitely gonna have to keep an eye out on our speeds. Things a lot heavier, a lot longer now. get too crazy on this throttle until I get out in the daylight here. Wherever the hell that may be. Eighty. Let's do it. <laughs> so you can see the, the kind of almost issue with our slug unit here and how it's kind of holding us back. We're not putting that much amp down, that much power. And the speedo has not gone up much at all. We are still forwards. We do have run eight going here, so notch eight. Air looks good. Looks like we are barely moving. That being, uh, like I mentioned earlier, these you know these things are not meant for this kind of work. Generally, uh, they can be. Also, depending on the gearing, how these things are geared, uh, you know, if they're supposed to be geared for high speed, kind of like the little shunter we just got, the steam engine, the 060, same deal. That thing's not meant for speed. It's meant for low-end grunt. Kind of the same thing going on here. But what'll be interesting to see, and what hopefully I can do here shortly, is uh, put another one on here and and see if we can get some speed out of it. Because we got a ton of weight now. You know, that's the other thing is you don't really know what the weight of these locomotives are, right? I mean, you could kind of have a, a guesstimation, a general guess, an idea, unless there's there's been some official news I don't know about yet, you know, showing the specs of these things. But also, we don't really know how much each thing can pull. All right, we're almost at 30 kmh now. Part of me almost thinks there might even be a handbrake on somewhere. I think this is just how it is. All right, 
right, let's get down the road some and out of this dark. All right, we are out of the tunnel and night is falling. You can see the viaduct over there to the east. Train coming out of the tunnel. And uh, I believe that section might have been a bit uphill. We have sped up a bit. The locomotives did go through their transition once you kind of get above, uh, it's like 25 mile an hour they do a transition. Um, get that window open there some more. Gonna be going over that shortly. We need to pay attention to the speed boards. Looks like it's a 40 and it's upgrade. Yeah, so this thing isn't built for speed. Uh, if you've got a super heavy train, if you want to do something crazy, Let's go ahead and peel off a couple notches here. And we'll throw the brightest lights we got onto as it is getting dark. A couple more notches down. Yeah, we got a we got a pretty healthy train weight-wise here. Oh, we're like right on the verge here doing 42. But so it, you know, it's kind of a handicap, uh, you know, in in essence, uh, as far as speed. Uh, now, if you need something to to break you uh, or slow you down pretty quick, then yeah, it's uh, it's you're probably in the right ballpark with that. Go ahead, notch back up. Looked like we had a 60 speed board. That's a 50 over the viaduct. Man, I can't remember the last time I've been on this part of this map. It has been a hot minute. The fjord of the northwest. Doing about 40 kmh. Look how long that sucker is, man. Pretty good one. Not not the longest, but it's a pretty good one. Weight wise and length wise. But I'll tell you what though, with this thing in front of us here, this slug, the train feels solid. It's got a it's definitely got like a weighted feel to it. You know, sometimes some of these trains can feel a bit out of control, if you will. I mean it's kind of the you know the shtick of the game, or at least it used to be anyway. Max RPMs, the temperature is staying really cool because it's, you know, the engine itself is, is splitting its power, so to speak, on uh, 12 axles now. Misty evening setting in here. Yeah, this thing has got no problem with this hole here. There's a 70. We're still good. Take a peek over at the tunnel. They are shadow there on the mountainside. That's pretty neat. So we're still spot on for that. Not too much to worry about presently. There's a part of me, though, that, that it almost feels like 
we got a handbrake on. I can't shake that feeling. Uh, but, you know, I'm 99% cer certain that it's not on, on, on the slug or the uh, locomotive here or any of the cars for that matter. That's just how these things are. They're not uh, geared for speed. So I think it, uh, you know, it seems like it's pretty spot on. Getting a bit more curvy here than I thought. I might have missed the speed board. 60 looks like we're going upgrade, so I'm going to leave it in run 8. Let it do its thing. We've had a development. It's like all of a sudden we got speed out of nowhere. I think it's because we're going downhill. I have thrown the Dynamics fully. Gonna drop some air on it as well. Cause it's bobbing and weaving. All right, we'll go ahead and peel the air brakes off. I thought for a minute, maybe I lost the, uh, the slug. It was just like, <laughs> things just got away from me out of the blue. That was wild. Make sure you still got everything here. Yeah, it looks like we do. That 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 got pretty sketchy in a hurry. All right, that's a 60. I mean, this thing was hauling ass. I couldn't believe it was, it was going that fast. It had to be very downhill. There's more dynamics. Pull on. Food factory incoming. Got a couple little twisty curves. Still holding at 60. Ooh, that made me nervous there for a second. Coming in hot. I think I see a uh, DE2 locomotive on the map. Let's go ahead and start throwing some air brakes. Reason being, oh baby, 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 there he is. <laughs> All right, let's back this thing up. I see the uh, the V100 sitting over there. All right, let's get back on here. There we go. Um, lights. There we go. Man, the sucker is pretty heavy. Actually getting some temperature issues now. That's nice. Nice change of pace. Better back it off. I don't want to blow the bastard up. Boop, 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 boop. Too close for comfort there.
Man, I'm wondering if some of the train broke apart or something. It feels uh, a bit odd now. some weirdness going on there. Man, that train did not uh, want to back up. I wonder if we still got everything back there. That was that was interesting. Alright, it is now dark. Let's come into the food factory here. The cars. They're going to D2I. Where is D2I? This is C. So, of course, we're on the complete wrong side of the damn thingamabob here. That's fine, though. That's fine. Because I got an idea. I got an idea. Let's hop in this baby. gonna see if we can hook this thing up and uh have three on the lead sandwiching two sandwiching the slug of course and then uh we'll use the remote all right guys i have finagled my way around getting this dh4 uh i could not push this train back through that tunnel this son of a biscuit must be so damn heavy anyway we got it uh, and we're going to try and get it on there. We got to somehow work out a way to drop off the cars here that are in the middle of the train. And uh, it looks to me like this thing's even rolling. It is. Oh, dear Lord. Okay, so here we go. One notch. And, uh... <laughs> it's... We didn't just end up here. I actually smashed this thing right into this consist a little too quick, so I'm certain I damaged the bejesus out of it. Uh, sadly, that was not recorded. All right, let's get them tightened up. Let's get our brakes attached. Open that. Open that. Get our MU cable. Oh, I think we're jamming, guys. How about my flashlight's dead? Son of a bitch, it is. I'll tell you what, we'll go sleep. All right, it is a brand new day. We have slept uh, in the office. Let's hope our train is still there. Uh, 7.30 in the morning, it was 1.30. Looks so far so good. <laughs> Oh my god, that's how heavy this thing is. It's been dragging brakes pushing through. Holy hell. All right. It looks like they are all off. Oh yeah, look, there's my smashed windows from my awesome train handling. By the way, all the gauges are smashed. Oh, this thing is so dead, man. I feel terrible. All right, let's fire it up. Train brake. Is that, is that actually going to work there? Okay. All right, how are we looking? There's the rear lights. We're good. Okay, let's... Uh, moment of truth. Here we go, guys. I hope there's power in this thing. Let's go ahead and pair the loco. There we go. Says we got 29 cars. It damn show sure does. All right, here goes nothing. Brakes released. Ooh. 
Wait a minute. I'm hearing squealing, guys. Why? Why am I hearing squealing? Why is a friggin' handbrake on? I didn't turn that on. I've noticed it does that sometimes. And I'm, it's squealing over here, too. Yeah, so that's what happens on occasion when you uh, leave your locomotive and go, uh, you know, go in the office, sleep next day or whatever. It'll it'll do that, it seems, sometimes. Yeah, that one's on, too. Son of a gun. All right, let's see. I mean, is this thing on? Like... Let's see, it should, should be putting power down, right? Okay, so we gotta turn it on. It's operating the brake there. Let's fire this puppy up. Should've already been on, I would've thought. There we go. Now we can stand on this sucker. Let's get our remote back out. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Cake. Thing's hauling ass. All right, so we got to figure out a way to get those cars uh, over here. So they are going on D2I. We'll let this roll for a minute because it's got a ways to go. I believe it was over here behind the office. Yeah, it's right yonder. Okay, D2I. So what we're going to do is break the train in half and then uh, push that cut of the auto racks back in there. And we should be gravy. So all we got to do is get past this main switch here. And we are golden, golden grams. All right, let's see if we can get it working down here. Hey, where's the headlights? I'm not seeing my headlights. Got a pretty good signal boost out here. All right, so we're going to get just beyond the switch here, and we're going to cut the train in half and leave the back end, which is all that iron ore, because that's still got to go down to the steel mill. Are, are my headlights broken or something? Because they don't look like they're working. I wouldn't doubt it for a second if they are. I ran into that thing pretty heavily. It was... uh. I, th I thought it was going to do the whole thing in, honestly. This thing's handling good now, and it's quite, quite cool that it does indeed work with uh, something. You know, whether you're using the, um, just a couple more cars here. Whether you're using the little DE2 or the DH4, uh, I think those are still the only ones that you can control via remote, right? All right, so let's go ahead and put some air down. We're going to leave these out here. Go ahead and find us a handbrake. We don't want these suckers rolling away. There we go. Disconnect. Let's get them up out of there. Here we go. Get our uh, remote back out. Let's go over here, actually. Peel the brakes off. Give her a couple notches. Let's get going. There we go. We are in business now. I find it kind of odd that these uh, automobiles are going to the food factory. 
Uh, maybe they're gonna get made into some sort of edible car salad thing. No, 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 a little too much, a little too much. There we go, we'll go ahead and flop that over there. There we go. Now forward, so we're going to be pushing. We've got that set to the right, here we go. Just got smashed by the train. Let's go ahead and set our uh, switches up. That one's good. Got another little Y up here. D2I, so that's actually straight ahead it does appear. So we are basically just going to need the cut of cars just behind this sign. And we are donezo. Holy crap, this thing's hauling ass. 28. Always forget it's in KMH, not MPH, but still. Sucker got away from me. Start putting some of that train brake on. Couple more. What about two more, two more, three more cars? Oh, prematurely. Because this is the kind of cut where it's, it is just going to fit in between that sign. There's a sign. Go ahead and throw a hand wheel and cut this sucker out and uh, go get paid. Let's see, we got our cars. Let's see, uh, <laughs> see what kind of damages we got here. All right, so that looks okay. That looks okay. Ooh, heavy damage. Yikes. I was insured, though, thankfully. Holy crap. <laughs> Those poor cars. No environmental damage. That's all that matters, though, right? Greta's happy. There we go. All right, where's my wallet? Give me the money. There we go. All right, let's go get our other cut and uh, get on the road. All right, here we go. Throw her back forwards. I think I got it the right direction. Guess we're about to find out. Yeah, the lights are on. Here we go. So we just got a couple up to these iron ore cars. And take them to the steel mill. Man, that's funky uh, seeing that, that part in the middle. Kind of reminds me of uh, my local railroad, Florida East Coast, and how they do these... Uh, natural gas tanks in between the engines. There it is. That's all she wrote. Let's get it on there. All right, grab the air holes on and on. Put one hand wheel down. Didn't we? Nope. Yep. 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 Yippers. Yippers. All right. Let's go get in the busted ass locomotive. We'll do a, uh, a roll by here and check all our equipment. Might be the better idea. Man, 
man, that thing is busted. I am going to owe... Hoo-hoo! 77%. Wait, does that mean 77% left or 77% damage? Holy hell. Again, this thing don't smoke because it doesn't have a combustion engine. It is literally just the, the power coming from this combustion engine to the traction motors down here. There's literally nothing up here but some electricals and some weight and uh, things of that nature. Looking good so far. I want to make sure, too, that we're not dragging anything. I'm not hearing any squealing. Take a look at the map. Okay, luckily we don't have to go around the loop. We do have three switches that require our attention, and it's smooth sailing. One more car, and we are out of the food factory. And there it goes. All right, we are still on the roll. Coming out of the food factory, uh, we did overheat for a moment. There is a somewhat uh, fairly decent grade coming up here. But uh, I'm, I'm thinking this thing was overheating uh, just because the power wasn't translating that well but it's, it sure is hard to see with all the damn gauges busted now to see the oil temperature dropping. Give it a couple more notches. I think we're in run six, maybe. Now what's funny is the, so the remaining train that we have actually isn't that heavy. It's, uh, it's actually kind of nice, the uh, busted glass. See a bit better. This um, this set here that we have left is, uh, let's say, almost 400 ton, maybe. So it's not uh, it's not nearly as bad. I just think what it is now is we've just got more weight to the consist overall, including this locomotive. And that thing behind us, the slug itself, you know, that, that bastard's got to weigh quite a bit on its own. Throw up some more notches. Looks like we got a 30 kmh on this turnout to the right. See how our temporary tour is doing? Yeah, it's about to get into the uh, banana sector. We don't want it in the chili sector. Banana sector is okay. All right, let's back off one notch. Oh, hell, what the? I hit the F key by accident. Oh, did it again. Whew. All right, we got a 60 turnout. Now, we really only have one more, uh, well, technically two more junctions to worry about uh, with these switches. next one we're headed to the right or the south and then the next one uh, should be straight on or to the right well, let's let this sucker run we're doing 44 right now I think it's a slight downhill bit uh, but I'm really interested to see what it's going to be like in the middle valley section 51 I think we can drop that throttle a bit. Holy moly. I'm moving now. There's one curve down here at the end of the set section that uh, we might want to worry about a little bit.
go ahead and throttle all the way down here. Smacked by a tree branch. Oh, we're doing 63. Yep, we'll use some brake. get too crazy here. Does uh, does this V100 have um, dynamics? I don't remember. I know the DE6 does. Use them quite a bit. Yeah, we need to slow down a lot here, guys. Might be a tragedy if we don't. We got a 60 on the next turnout. It's a lot of stuff bouncing around back yonder. All right, it looks like we are set to the right, thankfully. We've got a 60. Go ahead and throttle back up. Then we got one more and one more uh, turnout and one more kind of hairy turn and then it's just wide open. Freebird guitar solo intensifies. There we go, we're doing 50, she can handle it. We'll give it all she's got, run eight, baby. There's the next turn out straight on. Looking good. All right, we just gotta go to the right here. Oh, nope, don't want the comp radio, I want the remote. We're doing 59. Got a 70. Let's run it. We're overheating. That's all right, though. I got to spend the money I'm making this on something. There we go. Let's get it back down in the banana. The banana range. There we go. That's how it is. Right there. Doing 65. It's still like a buck twenty up here. Sixty-seven. We are chooching now. That's a seventy. We're still good for that. Like right on the edge, man. <laughs> We gotta go, man. How's that temp looking? Under the banana, we're good. We are banana free. We are chili and banana free. And there's that one hundo. I feel like I hear an alarm. Oh no, it's just the, uh, <laughs> it's just that engine having uh, a time of its life there. You know, let's get a little photograph here. So those that may not know how to do it. So if you hit F2, that'll go exterior in your orbit. You can orbit with your mouse. If you hit F3, it'll unlock the camera. And then if you hit F5, uh, you can actually move around. And then if you hit the Alt key, it'll bring up this little icon here in the top right. And you can click that and actually change the time of day and the weather and all that. Just make, make it uh, for a bit easier to, uh, you know, take photos and do stuff like that if you're into it of course you can zoom in and all that good stuff try and zoom in here get a get a thumbnail for our uh, shenanigans Woo! it's kind of it's kind of trippy sometimes the camera moving around uh let's see 
I see. Up, up, up. Nope. Jeez, it's like it's it's like it's on greased casters. Yeah, whatever. Let's go. If you hit F1 and you're in this, uh, you know, menu, Bob's your own. Good to go. 70 mile an hour. Here we go. Too far now. We are hauling ass with this thing now. I feel like the uh, the DH4 really helped out a lot with it. Oh, we got a 70. Might want to heed that. Should kind of naturally slow down on our own here. Hopefully. Man, these things are so clapped out. They're going to need some serious service. There's the river once more. Still got the train in tow. Looking good. We got a 70 upgrade. Let's throttle it back up. All right, where's this job going? B3 Igor. Now we got a 60. There's a little garage where you start. Can't see it. There we go. All right, I have not checked these switches in a hot minute. Man, we're slowing down really quick. All right, it looks like that one's good. Let's go ahead and throttle down. B3I, uh, to the left, to the left, to the left. Everything you want in a box to the left. All right, let's go ahead and kill that brake. We'll try and keep this as fluid as possible. Uh, B3, I said B3I, right? So that one's good. And then that is our doggy right there. 16 kmh, let them know we're coming in the yard. Hop on the the very last car here. Just to make certain that uh looks like potatoes. Actually looks like rock now that I think about it. Kind of rock. Alright, we'll give her three notches. Let's look at that order one more time, just to make absolute certain. So B3I, I'm surprised it's not going actual, uh, actually over to the uh, industry there. Let's see a snaking in there. Get this back out, throttle back down, we'll just coast. The ticket is that sign, we gotta find that sign. Start opening the uh, the auto brake here. All right, there's our sign, B3I. 16 kmh. Clunk, 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 clunk. I like this area. I like the wide openness of it. I kind of wish there was more like this uh, on the map as a whole. The, the mountain bits kind of get old. I mean, you know, it's good, it's good challenge for, for train handling and all that. It's just not, uh, 
pleasant on the eyes that often. There we go, and that ought to do it. I hope. Where's the B3I sign on this side? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I think we should push those back some because I'd rather I'd rather not F around and find out than just do it right the first time. So let's throw her forwards. The train breaks off. A couple of notches. ought to turn a handbrake on these cars. Let's go see what kind of damage we did here. Let's get our job out. All right. And let's go report to the supervisor. We don't get a slap on the wrist. I'm getting some stuttering here as well. Uh, I'm noticing with this build. I was noticing that when I was looking around as well. All right, here we go. Oh, a little bit of damage. So it looks like the car's got the, uh, <laughs> the brunt of the force. Um, uh, yeah, not too bad. 3.8, that's all right. Let's, uh, let's get our wallet. Get paid. There we go. We'll go ahead and see what kind of fees we got here. Ooh. And it just keeps on ticking. It'll take a licking and keep on ticking. We'll go ahead and pay that. That is our um, insurance. I love that sound for some reason. And that's it. Insurance cleared for all your fees. You are good to go. And I think that'll do it, guys. Tested out the new slug. Thing's pretty fun. It's very useful, obviously. Uh, it is heavy. Can't go that fast, but uh, it seems to keep trains under control for the most part. So if you've got a long one or a really heavy one, that may be your golden ticket. Uh, that's it for now, though, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.